Uber, man, some of those fucking drivers are assholes at Uber. I think Lyft is better than Uber. You know, like I think it is. There's some fucking weirdos. Uh, they worry about Lyft. the people in the car. Some of the fucking drivers are questionable. Yeah. For Uber. Shouts out I've to I've had Lyft motherfuckers drivers. saying prayers for me and shit. And I'm like, I just want to go to fucking Waffle House, dude. You know, I, the, the one I hate the most is, like, if you're wearing headphones, you get into the Uber, and you're like, hey, how's it going? You're obviously wearing your headphones for a reason. You're like, I'm not up for talking. Yeah. And then it's like, hey, how you doing? What are you getting into? You're going to like the Waffle. You to yeah. Talk. yeah, and I'm like, bro, you, I'm like, hey, you see yeah. this? Uh, not in the mood. Thanks, man. You, you always get that over, like, over fucking achiever as well. I once got one, I swear to God, it looked like a fucking UFO would landed in the parking lot. He got like lights underneath this shit and fucking Uber flashing. And I get in, he's got a fucking t shirt on and a hat that's like, happy Uber. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What music one do you like? I'm like, I don't give a fuck, I'm drunk, whatever. Yeah. What color would you like it back? I'm like, dude, just fucking take me home, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, I understand he's trying to be professional, but fuck, man. It's too far. The only reason I'm getting you is because you're fucking $3. You know, yeah. I don't need the smoke and fucking mirror shit with it, you know. And that's the only business where you get upset when they try to go above and beyond. I know, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Any other business. Isn't that weird, oh, actually? Thanks, man. Thank I should have been like, dude, you're kind of a fucking nerd, but well done. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, this is cool. You're trying. Thanks for the water and the gum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he did. He had a little fucking bag of, you know, sweets and you're gonna throw up do it then you know I, like, I always feel weird about that honestly like if i'm drunk and i get into an uber i'm like just roll the window down i'm gonna stare at the lights please don't fucking talk to me yeah. like thanks for the water here's when i'm drunk i'm like here's a five for like your little pint of water or whatever but yeah. i'm like I'm like dude i don't want to fucking talk i, I don't want to fucking talk, i want to hear man. about your especially i don't want to hear about your fucking day yeah like you know no offense i i bet you're a nice person i don't fucking give a fuck yeah I'm really not. Yeah. I'm not going to see you again. I'm yeah. here for a service, and that service is you getting me there. Yeah. yeah. You know what they should do? They should have a fucking button for Uber or Lyft, and it said, and it goes, "Would you like your choice of mute? Like, if you hit fucking mute, you don't want to speak to him or her." That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Just a little check. Or you say conversation. You fucking check. That's a good idea. Why don't they do that? Why don't they just put it on? the Because they're not as smart as me, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's a good idea. It really is. My personal I'm, favorite was the fact that like um, I, I, I wish I could do like a preferred driver for this because it would be one of those that I would hire this woman to pick me up and drop me off every fucking time. The woman's fucking deaf. So it's not like she's trying to hold a conversation with me. And it was to the point that like I had her enough where like I was in the car. I was like, this is my third time like fucking rolling with this chick that I like literally YouTube how to say thank you in sign language where I was like. I was getting out of the car. 